Canadian businesses are closer than ever to having choice access to Europe's economy. Now, this would come from the Canada-EU free trade deal this week. It was announced that the deal is actually in its final stages. And we're very pleased to be joined by former Premier of Quebec, Jean Charest. He is speaking with us from Hong Kong, uh, where he's on a trade mission. Mr. Charest, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure, Joanne. How are you? We're great. A big hello from everyone here in Montreal. This is a, a very, very big deal. For, for people at home who are watching and, and don't quite understand what this Canada-EU deal is all about, can you summarize it for us? Well, it's, a, it's the most comprehensive trade deal probably in the world and the most comprehensive for Canada. It goes into areas where we're going to eliminate tariffs, which is it's pretty much a given the day the deal will come into effect, and that'll take about 18 but also it will give us better access to the European government procurement system uh, for architects, for engineers, for those who want to work in Europe and try to get some business. It'll be an opportunity for them. It will also deal with labor mobility and uh, make it easier for people to move from one side to the other of the Atlantic. It's going to uh, allow us to have better access for our ag agricultural products, pork, we will, on the other hand, be taking in more uh, cheese, which may have an impact on our cheese industry, but that is something that we are ready to, to deal with. And it, in the end, Joanne, what's going to be important for Canada is that it puts us right smack in the middle of the biggest trade zone in the world. 500 million Europeans on one side and the United States and uh, Mexico on the other. So it puts Canada in, in a really interesting place as we as we want to trade more around the world to create jobs. Mr. Chaga, you mentioned uh, the cheese farmers. There was some worry about that. You said that, that we're ready to deal with that. Will this be impacting jobs uh, in that sector in particular? Well, there'll be a phase-in period. And what's happening on the cheese side is that the quota that we have uh, given to Europe will be more than doubled. It'll go to 17,000 tons. Well, what will happen, Joanne, is that there'll be a five-year phase-in period, and over that period of time, there'll be an increase in consumption that will offset part of the uh, increased uh, uh, increase of uh, quota. And so we think it'll go relatively well. It'll have a bigger impact on artisan cheeses and, and more specialized cheeses because that's the type of cheese the Europeans will bring in. But uh, the federal government has made a very firm commitment to offset any disruption in the market. And so they, they will be there to support the cheese uh, makers of Quebec so that they're not uh, negatively impacted. So you are confident all in all that this is good for the economy, this is good for jobs? Well, it, it'll create 80,000 jobs in Canada. It'll create 16,000 jobs in Quebec whether it's the aluminum industry, the aeronautical industry, whether it's uh, IT industry, all these sectors will be very positively impacted. It gives us a big leg up over the Americans. The Americans are now negotiating uh, a trade agreement with Europe, and so we will be the first ones to enter into this trade agreement with the Europeans. And so it's going to have a major impact on Canada and will position us in a unique place in the world as a place to invest on the energy side, for example, and, and other areas. Energy is another good example with what's happening in the Ukraine and the impact it has on Europe. It really creates an opportunity for us to uh, move some oil and gas towards the East Coast and to export that to markets in Europe who are now uh, looking at uh, alternatives to uh, being supplied by Russia. Well, thank you so much. It was short but sweet. Jean Charest speaking to us live this morning from Hong Kong. Thank you again, Mr. Charest. Thank you, Joanne. Bye-bye.